As we begin, once again, please examine your motivation. And you may do that in any way that is meaningful for you. I've just been feeling today how uh, what I do think or say has an effect in the world. That when, in fact, I get lost in emotion or I feel irritation, that those ripples go through me and sometimes I can notice that and come back to being present rather quickly and other times there's a residue that really needs to be worked with over time so that if there's any secret to this practice it is making it as continuous as possible that doesn't mean that one can't watch TV or have a beer or do things to relax. But at the same time, if we do things where we get completely lost for hours and days and weeks at a time, our movement toward resting in our true nature is greatly diminished. What we do, what we think, what we say has an effect in the world. And there is suffering in this world. There's obvious suffering, people hungry, people dying. But in every moment where you or I are not resting in our true nature, in being open, being connected with life, even if we're distracting ourselves, even if we're staying busy, if we really examine the quality of our emotional being, the quality of our attention in that moment, there will be a quality of suffering. There will be some unsatisfactoriness. And the longer I practice, the more difficult it is to lose myself in the pleasures of the world. Try as I might, and God knows I try. And each of us, just by our very presence here in this group, have asked, at one point, maybe in the past, maybe in this very moment, have asked to be free to be awake, even implying whatever it takes, I want to be free, I want to, I want to taste that sweet taste, I want to smell that fragrance. Please invoke that which you love. Invoking in the sense of uncovering that which is already here. That which in your heart of hearts you know is always and everywhere fully present. Being touched by the sacred reality the ground of being, self. And as you allow yourself to be touched, as you allow yourself to directly experience that which is true, the mind, the emotions, the sensations of the body continue to arise and 
even though they are none other than that which you invoked. At times they seem to interrupt the experience of being with the sacred. Thoughts, sensations, emotions become so compelling. just for a very few breaths. Feel the sense of being grounded and supported. Breathing in, pushing down into the earth. Breathing out, receiving the infinite Shakti, the Chi, into the lower part of your body. And as you receive the sense of support, feel your body begin to relax, your organs dropping down, your brain itself beginning to relax. That yes, even this physical reality can be trusted in some way that goes beyond all of the chaos and danger and uncertainty that living in a body entails. And then bringing your attention down into your center. With each out breath, the whole universe becoming this place at the center of your physical being, your identity, your I-ness, where you pay attention from, the place through which the energy of the universe flows through you, inhabiting this fully with each out-breath. Letting then this grounding and centering be a firm foundation, a trustworthy foundation, a stable foundation from which to experience the openness of your heart. Breathing into that spaciousness in the center of your chest. armoring that seemingly keeps us safe falling away as we use the breath to penetrate more and more deeply into the nature of our hearts. Feeling the pain of separation from yourself. Feeling that yearning to be united with who you are. All the grief, the armoring, 
the almost unbearable desire to distract that we hold deep in our belly. Let the heart open more and more deeply so that we can begin to trust, touch, begin to touch that armoring with a deep sense of kindness, compassion for yourself. those places that keep us from being deeply in love with our own being. Have mercy. Touch them with gentleness. Explore the possibility of ending the battle just for this period of time. Becoming totally vulnerable to who you are. No matter what arises. And from this spaciousness that is the nature of your heart, begin to experience that even the armoring, even the grief that has been pushed down so deeply within, the thoughts that arise from these submerged places, the emotions, the sensations in the body, even they are pure expressions of who you are. So that nothing that arises, no moment needs be pushed away, be grasped at. Resting in spaciousness, connected with the flow of life. Can you open even more deeply to yourself? Is there that place where it becomes almost unbearable to be so undefended?
not losing yourself in spaciousness, being centered, undefended, merciful and compassionate. Allowing yourself to be compassion. for all of who you are. And experiencing that this compassion radiates from you in all directions. Beyond even having a wish that people be free from suffering. Just being compassion, being space. All the suffering of realms seen and unseen. Just like a bubble on the surface of the ocean. As you breathe out, being in your center, grounded, compassionate, 